dividing, rounding, intermediate proofing, and molding. First, dividing. The dough is transferred via the trow elevators to the divider. Here, the dough is cut into the required size and weight of a loaf. This results in accurately scaled and consistent dough pieces. Second, rounding. The dough piece is rounded into a ball with a smooth surface. This is done on a conical equipment called the rounder. Then, the dough piece passes through the check weigher to ensure the correct weight of every loaf. And third, intermediate proofing. Here, the weighed dough pieces are transferred to individual baskets in the intermediate proofer. This allows the dough to rest, so it will go through the molding sheeting rollers without tearing. Lastly, molding. Dough pieces are flattened, rolled into a cylindrical shape, sealed, and cut into its final form. After this process, the dough will be twisted and placed in the baking pans. Molder 1 fills the right side of the baking pan set, while Molder 2 fills the left side. The baking pans travel through a multi-level swing tray, allowing the dough to rise inside the pan. After final proofing, the baking pans are automatically covered with a lid using a robot. Meanwhile, empty baking pans go through a tornado pan cleaner to clear dough residue, then passes through pan greasing station where they're sprayed automatically with a highly specialized baking oil. Now we're about to bake our delicious gardenia bread. We're here at the oven area where this is done. Baking is done in the oven with indirect firing system, which is heated by environment-friendly liquefied petroleum gas. The programmable computer ensures that heat is well distributed in a 30-meter long tunnel oven with a series of five oven chambers with varying temperatures. This results in consistent baking in all loaves. After baking, the metal lids are automatically removed and stored for cooling in a lid stacker area. Now, the bread is loosened from each pan by air burst, blown on the edges between the bread and the pan. The bread is then taken out of the baking pans using gentle suctions that automatically lift the bread out of the pan into a conveyor, untouched by human hands. Meanwhile, the hot baking pans pass through pan coolers, then are placed in the pan storage area. Baked hot breads are conveyed upwards in the first cooling tower, then cross a bridge at the top and conveyed downwards on the second tower. This process allows the bread to cool down to the desired temperature before slicing and bagging. Each loaf passes through the tumbling station, where all four sides of the loaf are checked. Here, highly trained checkers perform the final quality visual inspection per loaf. This ensures that only breads that meet Gardenia's high quality standards are sliced and packed. Now, the loaves are fed into a high-speed band slicer, where these are automatically cut to the desired thickness. The breads are then pushed inside bags automatically by a state-of-the-art bagger untouched by hand. Finally, to seal in freshness, Gardenia uses color-coded G-locks imprinted with a batch and traceability number, price, and expiry date. Now, Gardenia breads are ready for dispatch. This very spacious bread dispatch staging area is where packed loaves are consolidated. These are then loaded in the bread trucks for delivery. Freshly baked gardenia breads are delivered to the stores near you, ready to be brought home for your family to enjoy. And that's the story of how gardenia bread goes from this high-tech facility to your